First guest tonight spent nine years as co-owner of the Texas Rangers baseball team before deciding to go into his father's business, which is being president of the United States. He is now an artist with a new book of paintings and stories called Out of Many, One Portraits of America's Immigrants. Please welcome President George W. Bush. Hello, Mr. President. Jimmy, thank you. It's good to see you. Thanks for uh, joining us. Boy, Sounds I... like you got a bunch of drunks there. Yeah. That's, that's the least of it. <laughs> you, I was hoping that you would be able to come out to uh, see you in person and celebrate 420 together the night before the show. <laughs> How you doing? How's everything going? Where, you're in your office right now? Yeah, right here in Dallas. Thank you. Everything's great, Jimmy, and thank you for having me on the show. It's... Uh, I'm sorry I'm not there as well. Last time I was there, I had a blast. I had so much fun with you last time. I think we had almost too much fun because I had so many questions that I didn't get to. And one of them, which was like something I really wanted to ask about, is something that it turned out Hillary Clinton wrote about in her book. She said that after Trump, you remember that guy? <laughs> yeah. Barely. After Trump gave his, uh, his speech at the inauguration, you turned around and said to a small group of people, including her, that was some weird <laughs> Oh. Is that, is that an accurate account of what was said? You know, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good answer. Can you remember, this is something I was thinking about today, too. Do you remember the nuclear codes? Like, I'm sure... <laughs> They changed them. I hope they changed them. But um, do you hey, remember Jimmy, let me, yours? Let me, let me tell you something. I couldn't even say the word nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> In President Obama's book, uh, he wrote that on the night the Navy SEALs Team 6 killed Osama bin Laden, he phoned you, he called you to let you know first. Do you remember where you were and what was going on when you got that call? I do remember. Uh, I got a call from uh, Logan, who uh, is my assistant. I was eating a souffle. <laughs> yes. Guess what the name of the restaurant is? Rise. 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 Oh, yes. You get it? Souffle, rise. Oh, yeah, right. Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and, and so I, I, I hustled home. She said the president wants to speak to you, and I so I. I left my souffle and went home and uh he got on the phone and said we got bin laden and uh you know i was uh very grateful he called me uh, appreciative of the that he took time and i was uh very pleased for our military and our intelligence community to hunt the guy down and yet uh, i feel like obama owes you a souffle <laughs> yeah he does <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is, I think, very interested, and you're probably tired of talking about your friendship with Michelle Obama, but I know that is a real thing and not just something that sounds like fun, but I wonder how, it, like, as far as friends go, like, do you have her phone number in your cell phone? No. You do not? Okay. Nor does she have mine. But you know, here's, here's the thing. Uh, I go to a lot of funerals. Yeah. And so does she. Okay. And because of protocol, I'm always stuck next to her, or she's always stuck next to me. Uh-huh. And uh, I get a little antsy during the long-winded eulogies, <laughs> and so, so I start cracking a few jokes. And, uh... <laughs> funeral jokes. And, uh... <laughs> and she seems to think they're funny, so I'm, I'm delighted. Does Barack have a relationship, a similar relationship, or a relationship of any kind with Laura? No. He does not. Oh, all right. Well, he doesn't, sit next, he doesn't sit next to her in the funerals. <laughs> all right. Well, that makes sense. I heard that a big reason that you got vaccinated is because you wanted to get back to baseball games. Is that true? Well, I was asked, uh, you know, what do I look forward to uh, after being vaccinated? I said, going to a baseball game. Uh, I should have said seeing my grandkids, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, baseball. <laughs> well, you can take them. To, have you been to a baseball game yet? I have. I went to opening day. Oh, Ranger right. Stadium. Okay. You own the Texas Rangers. Did you know you bought the Texas Rangers like uh, something like 39 years ago today? I uh, know. 
Yeah. And when you bought them, I know you didn't own the whole team. You owned a, a piece of the team. A uh, sliver. A sliver. A sliver of the team. How much did you buy the team for? Do you remember? $89 million. And do you know what it's worth now? Probably, uh, I'd say $800 million. No, almost $2 billion. <laughs> Well, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a few stock tips for you, too. You know? How hands-on were you with, with the team? Like, would you get down and take batting practice or do any of that kind of stuff? No, I was pretty much a jocks and socks guy, you know. They're after the game, picking up all the uh, laundry, showing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we... we, we we went to a lot of games, and uh, I sat down with the fans, which was fine until we started losing. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would imagine that that's no fun. Yeah, it's one of the things about being an owner is, like, you're probably a wealthy guy who never gets any abuse at all, and then suddenly the team starts losing. You are abused constantly. Yeah, but I was used to the abuse. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. How much yeah. golf would you say is an appropriate amount of golf to play when you're president of the United States? I played, I played uh, my first year, and then when we had troops in combat, I didn't play at all. Because of the optics? Because I didn't want some mother seeing uh, you know, his kids in combat, seeing the commander-in-chief out there playing golf. So I didn't play any. That makes a lot of sense. Would you, would you play golf at a Trump property? Probably not. <laughs> Why not? Because I like my properties here in Dallas. I see. Know? All right. Are you at all jealous that you didn't think of the Space Force? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, last time you were here, we did talk about something that I'm very interested in. And as I've said uh, a number of occasions, <laughs> the first thing I would do if I was president, is go right to the UFO files and find out what's going on. You did not shed any light on that situation, but now there's a video. I wonder if you've seen this video that has been um, verified by the Pentagon. Which, and it seems to be, this video is either a Dorito or a UFO or possibly a slice of pizza. Nobody knows for sure, but it is an unidentified flying object or something like that. Now. Okay, now that this has been verified by the Pentagon, would you be surprised if we were visited by creatures from another planet? Yeah. You would be wouldn't surprised. Wouldn't you be? Well, yeah, hell yeah. But I haven't seen anything, and I think it's interesting that you said you'd be surprised because if you've seen evidence, so you're saying there is no evidence. President Clinton told me that if he had seen evidence, he would tell everyone that he'd seen it. Do you feel the same way? No. Oh. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you don't think we can handle it? <laughs> no, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it might spin you into orbit. <laughs> OK, all right. All right, I got nothing out of that. All right, well, we have many things to talk about. This is President Bush's new book of paintings and stories. It's called Out of Many One. We will be right back with President Bush. We'll use about a dozen colors of some unorthodox brushes in each show. I'll show you how to put some of nature masterpieces right here on the canvas. So I tell you what, let's get started. That is President Bush, the painter. This is his book, out of many one. Uh, Mr. President, you wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post on Friday in which you uh, called for immigration reform, and you said some things that I don't think uh, too many people in your party agree with. Is that fair to say? I don't think so. I think a lot of people in my party agree with what I wrote. I think there's some loud voices that, you know, send a different signal. But I think I think most Republicans would like to see rational immigration reform. Is your artwork this either consciously or subconsciously a reaction to four years of calling immigrants murderers and rapists and all sorts of horrible things? My artwork is an attempt to elevate the debate on immigration. I, I want people to, uh, to take a hard look at what immigra immigrants have meant to our country and not fear immigration, but to welcome it within the law. And, uh, you know, I got a, I, I put in that Washington Post editorial some rational policy, Jimmy, and there's some places where we all can agree, uh, like DACA or uh, 
you know, work visas. Uh, but I think we all mainly agree also that we need border enforcement and uh, reforming the system will actually make the border not only more secure, but more compassionate. Well, I don't know if we all agree, but yeah, I think most, certainly most Americans agree on, on those subjects. Um, I want to show you my favorite painting in the book. I what the hell this... I'm talking about, Americans? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Madeleine Albright, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that is a really, really good painting. Has she seen this? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. If you like it, I might paint you. Oh, I would love that. I would love um, if you could paint me in the nude. I think we'd really have something. <laughs> a, look, I don't want. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's all. I feel like you almost painted me already because this guy looks like me with my reading glasses on. Yeah, he, he's a cool guy. He's a guy that uh, snuck in as a young boy. Uh, coyotes uh, floated him across the Rio Grande River. He's now a very successful business guy here in Dallas. This is, these people, this is an interesting story. This is, yes, uh, is. Tony George Bush <laughs> and his mother, Layla. Right. So he was an interpreter for our troops in Baghdad. My view was anybody who helps our troops uh, in combat should get automatic, uh, uh, you know, access to the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, so when he filled out his immigration form, they said, what will you be called? And he said, Tony George Bush. And... <laughs> <laughs> so I had to paint the guy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I think this one kind of looks like you. This, uh, this guy looks a little bit like you. Salim, yeah, he's from Lebanon. Grew up listening to bullets flying over his head and everything. Came here to get an education, high school education. Is now one of the, a huge restaurant owner. I think he told me he employs about 3,000 people. And so the key thing on some of these stories in here, the people come with a dream, they work hard, and they end up employing Americans. Yes, and look, speaking of people who come here on a dream, I think we all know <laughs> who this guy is. This is uh, our yeah. former governor here in California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Who is a so, good so that, friend of I, yours. Admittedly, that, that's a strange painting, I know. But he asked he's me He's a strange painting. man. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's a great... I, I love him, but he's a strange man. There's no question about it. Why aren't you telling that to his face? I have done that. So, I, I, and yeah. I will. I'm going to see him Monday, and I'll tell him. I said, you know, President Bush said you're a strange man. I argued. But... <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So Arnold, he, he asked me to paint him that way because that was the day he got sworn in as a citizen, which he says, and he was wearing an Uncle Sam's outfit. And uh, he, he said it was one of the happiest days of his life. And hopefully I captured that in the painting. So he selected the, the photograph that you would use to paint yes. him. Uh, right. In fact, I think we have the photograph that you used there it is. <laughs> this is a guy that loves America. <laughs> it's like, it's like he was hired at a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Do you paint people from photographs because you don't want them sitting there in your room with you? Correct. Yeah, right. <laughs> Plus, they won't sit in the room with me that long. It takes a long time, but yeah, I, I use photos. Uh, and this, I knew, I, I, I got to know the people before I painted them. And so I was able to think about their stories and, you know, about their passions and about their struggles to get here. And so it's not, I didn't paint them live, of course, but it, it, it's almost live. <laughs> Speaking of p passions, do, did your parents, were they, may they rest in peace, surprised by the fact that you took up painting, surprised by your hobby? Shock, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because your dad just, was jumping out of planes at your age and beyond. That's right, yeah. While he was jumping, I'm painting. But it's, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, mother, so mother said, I hear you're a painter. And I said, I am, Mom. And she said, paint my dogs. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I said, all right. And so I became a pet portrait painter for a uh -huh. while. <laughs> Oh, we'll be right back with President Bush. We're back with President George W. Bush. Music from Maroon 5 is on the way. Mr. President, before Donald Trump, there weren't a lot of funny clips involving the President of the United States. But what there, what there, of what there were, you were in a lot of them. And, <laughs> and this is um, something I, I wanted to ask you about. Let's roll that clip. Okay.
Now, I have to say, I was very proud of you for dodging those shoes when it happened, because it's like... I, had uh, you were very you have very good reflexes ha, I, my guess is that Laura had done that before yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> now that's funny <laughs> <laughs> that might be make a nice painting by the way depicting that scene you you dod dodging the shoe flying over you it's something to think about for the next one size 12 <laughs> there are uh, many quotes that are attributed to you. You've been known yes. to make the occasional verbal gaffe, maybe even more than occasional. And then now <laughs> they've come up, do you know they have a thing called Bushisms? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, some of them are well known, like uh, when you asked, uh, you know, is our children learning or, or this one <laughs> here. And you're working hard to put food on your family. Right. <laughs> but. There are more, and I was wondering if you even remember some of these things. So it, we're going to play yeah. a game called Bushism or Not, all right? To test your recollection. Did you say, I know that human being and fish can coexist peacefully? <laughs> yes. That is? I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Absolutely correct. And you were right on that. <laughs> Except for sharks, yeah. All right, next. I think I've made good judgments in the past, and I think I've made some good judgments in the future. <laughs> Yogi Berra said that. Well, let's see who said that. I believe that I've made good judgments in the past, and I think I've made good judgments in the future. That was former Vice President Dan Quayle. All right, you're two for two so far. You teach a child to read, and he or her will be able to pass a literacy test. <laughs> Me. Is that him? Teach a child to read, and he or her will be able to pass a literacy test. Three for three. You're doing well. Here's another one. Thank you, Your Holiness. Awesome speech. <laughs> Surely that wasn't me. It couldn't have had to be somebody else. God bless yeah. America. Thank you, Rowling. That's awesome, too. <laughs> he appreciated it. Yeah, sure. I mean, a yeah. compliment's a compliment. It doesn't matter what That's right. adjectives you use. All right. Fluency in English is something that I'm not often, I'm often not accused of. That's got to be me. It's got to be you. Let's see. Fluency in English is something that um, <laughs> I'm often not accused of. Well, Ed, you're almost right. That was your dad. Thank yeah. you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Here's one. I guess I'm going to fade into Bolivian. <laughs> that can't be me. That can't be That's you? Not... Let's see. Oh, please. Now please. Now you fade please. into Bolivian. No, no, that was Mike Tyson, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever met Mike Tyson? No, I haven't. You have not? Oh, that would be quite a meeting. You should paint him. Have you? Oh, yeah, many times, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the three of us should get dinner together sometime. <laughs> OK, next quote is, it'll take time to restore chaos. <laughs> Surely that's not me. Well, Please. let's find out. <laughs> it'll take time to restore chaos. You're being misquoted by yourself. I have one more for you. Okay. Too, too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their love with women all across this country. That's me. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across this country. Well, thank you for playing it. I, let's close with a quote from one of the great gaffers of them all, Yogi Berra, who said, I never said most of the things I said. <laughs> <laughs> that one, I'm sure you could borrow that one. I'm sure Yogi wouldn't mind at all. Well, thank exactly. you so much for being uh, with us. I appreciate you taking time. I'm glad you're vaccinated. People should get vaccinated, right? Yeah, absolutely. They're, you know, and if you got any qualms about it, talk to their doctor. You know, it, we got to get vaccinated, get this country back going. And uh, I'm happy I am. I said, for those who haven't been vaccinated, it's a liberating feeling.
to get vaccinated. Uh, I agree with you. It really is. This is the book. It's called Out of Many One, Portraits of America's Immigrants. It is available now. President George W. Bush. Thank you, Mr. President. We'll be back hey. with Maroon 5. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.